What's up everybody, it's your boy George back at it again with another video. Now when we talk about El Paso's roots, we have to mention the first ward, Chihuahuita. Chihuahuita is considered to be El Paso's oldest neighborhood, tucked in between the Rio Grande and the Santa Fe Railroad tracks. Today we're here in the small neighborhood checking it out, I'm gonna tell the story of Chihuahuita. You're watching EP Originals. So what's up guys, we're on our way to Chihuahuita. Chihuahuita is a small neighborhood here in El Paso, Texas. It's also known as the First Ward. It's considered to be one of the city's oldest neighborhoods, sitting between the Rio Grande and uh, Santa Fe Street, where the Santa Fe Railroad tracks are. Chihuahuita has a rich history, over 400 years, um, when the Manso natives first established that land living there by the Rio Grande but it was later settled by Ricardo Bruzuelas. He was a gifted land by the Spanish administration which uh, Chihuahuita now sits on and that's where he began you know building his ranch and everything. Later after you know 1849 when the Rio Grande was established as the U.S. Mexico border um, many settlers stayed in Chihuahuita and began to call that their home. After the Mexican Revolution, that's when a lot of uh, more refugees, immigrants had came over from uh, Mexico to El Paso to the United States and uh, uh, that's how Chihuahuita began to grow. It was uh, one of the biggest uh, ports of entry for the country. A lot of uh, goods were coming in. Chihuahuita holds a lot of history. Uh, for a while it was uh, considered like uh, El Paso's red light district because of some of the crime that was going on there, the prostitution, the bootleggers, stuff like that. But um, the city really took an initiative to try to clean up that area. 1991 is when they finally uh, were able to establish Chihuahuita as a historical district here in El Paso. So um, we're on our way. I've been there one time to Chihuahuita before, but never got off and uh, walked around, explored the neighborhood or even told the story about it. So really looking forward to be able to showcase some of the neighborhood and the history here on the channel. So we're almost there guys and uh, stay tuned. Right now I'm standing in front of the old El Paso laundry building. This is a considered El Paso's first laundromat. Um, it was also one of the best buildings that had the best views to see the battles uh, from across the Juarez, across the Rio Grande. I believe the Chihuahuita historical community was trying to make this building here, uh, convert it into a little museum to tell the story about the, the area, the barrio, the neighborhood itself. But uh, I'm not sure what had happened to this day right now. It sits vacant here, but this is uh, the old uh, laundry building. There's the border wall straight ahead. Kind of see the mountains and Juarez. This is the new freeway that ha they had built over Chihuahuita. These buildings behind me are considered some of the oldest uh, residential housing here in Chihuahuita. Some of the first buildings that were built here in this area. I believe they were built in the 1910s, but uh, these were the tenements that housed many uh, 
refugees, migrants that came over after and during the Mexican Revolution. Some of the living conditions in these housings were horrible. I heard stories about people, um, families up to about 11 or 12 families sharing one restroom that was at the end of the hall on each of these, uh, um, each floor that was here at these tenements. So today they are now known as the Chihuahuita apartments. They've been uh, renovated and converted to apartments. But here's some of the buildings that most of the migrants that came over here lived in and started off their lives. Right now we're in front of the recreation center that's here in Chihuahuita. I believe it's been here since 1970s. Once Chihuahuita was growing, the city decided to try to um, start cleaning up some of this area. And one of the parts of what they did was built this uh, recreation center and then this small park behind me as well. From what I was uh, talking to the people here at the recreation center, they said that most of this neighborhood consists of uh, older people, been here, uh, people that have been here, grown up most of their lives. So it's a small little neighborhood, um, but it's really dope. It has a lot of history. Um, just these streets alone, I bet they tell a lot of stories. And uh, it's just crazy how close we are to the border itself, you know? People say that ever since that border wall, the fence went up in 2008, They've seen a lot of crime, a lot of less people crossing over, jumping the uh, border fence, coming here to El Paso. It's really cool to be able to come out here and see some of the history and some of the culture that's here in Chihuahuita. It's pretty cool to be able to be here and uh, walk through the neighborhood. We can never forget um, our, our history, our city's history, you know what I'm saying? The, the city's past and uh, Chihuahuita played a big part of it and uh, no matter what we're gonna never let this little community this little neighborhood be forgotten it might be tucked away like a like a lost sock but 
it's always going to be a important a part in El Paso's history. So, thank you, Chihuahuita, for letting me come out here and uh, visit your neighborhood. All right, guys. So that's it. We just left Chihuahuita. It was a nice little visit. Like I said, it's a small little neighborhood that's tucked away between the Rio Grande and Santa Fe Street. Um, never knew it was there when I was growing up. And the more that we were, you know, diving into El Paso's history and everything, Chihuahuita, you know, was one of the first neighborhoods that was brought to my attention that people started telling the story about and basically just where, you know, El Paso's history and the city itself started growing from and everything. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, we're going to try to just, you know, try our best to paint El Paso's uh, history the more that we can, the best way that we can here on the channel. And uh, if you guys are enjoying these videos and everything, let me know. Let me know if there's some stuff that I might have missed or some of the stuff that you guys want me to cover. El Paso has so much rich history that we would be able to do so much videos about all the little stories that come from this uh, area, this region and everything. So it's really cool. It really makes me uh, proud to be from here and uh, just excited just excited to see what's uh what, what's in store you know what i'm saying so um we already hit 700 subscribers honestly that means a lot to me and uh we're just uh our goal is a thousand subscribers so it's your boy george until next episode peace